flow like water. Hey everybody, my name is Anders, and today I'm here to talk to you about sea moss, as you can see. Today I'm going to talk about the different types of sea moss, a little history about sea moss, and debunk some myths. Now let's get it. So y'all may ask, just what is sea moss? For starters, sea moss is a red algae that is grown or found in our waters, from the coldest waters to the warmest waters. Now what made sea moss so popular? Let's go back in time to 1845 in Ireland. They had something known as the potato famine, a time in their history where their crops were so depleted that people turned to the waters for their nutrients. And thus, they found Chondrus crispus, AKA Irish moss. Now on to the different types of sea moss. Right now we're gonna start with Euchema cotini, AKA the sea nest of the ocean. Notice what this says here, Irish moss, myth debunker. This is not Irish moss. This is not from the North Atlantic. I don't believe Euchema cotini is grown in our oceans, only in warm body waters. Now you notice here, I have about two colors here. We have a dark pigment, and we also have a lighter pigment. This darker pigment is from the original source. You notice it still has a little rocks on there, it's darker, you, you have it, you go, do this, you don't get as much stuff on your hands. Then we have our lighter ones from around the world, this one is from like, the Asian Peninsula, Thailand, you notice I'm playing with it, stuff just keeps coming, Nat natural sea moss does not have this, if it is not stated it was sun dried, this was most likely ocean raised, or raised in a pool. Its color signifies it's been constantly hit by the sun and the stuff on my hands. This may be manganese, but... Now y'all may ask, why are you using such big bowls for this particular type of sea moss? Well, I'm going to let you know why it's called the sea nest of the ocean. As you can see, it's not even done soaking in the water yet. It's only been a few minutes and it's actually coming out of the water. This particular sea moss grows at a faster rate than the other types of sea mosses, and it grows abundantly. Hence why people are able to farm this particular type of sea moss in the waters, either farm it in the pools or in the ocean. On to our next type of sea moss, Gracilaria. Here's a myth debunker from the late Dr. Sebi. He spoke about the sea moss, you know, thin, very thin like hair, thin like shoestring. Here's the problem. He labeled this as Chondrus crispus. The correct name of this is Gracilaria. This is the non-sun-dried Gracilaria from the oceans. This is the sun-dried. And this is also the one from the Caribbean. Now be careful because there's people from the Caribbean, they will sell you Euchema cotini instead of this actual Gracilaria. Alright, we're back with a hydrated Gracilaria. The Caribbean. As you can see, it's still small. It did not grow. Even after being in water. Gracilaria. Not Euchema cotini. Gracilaria. Sun-dried Gracilaria. It did not grow. Stayed the same. And non-sun-dried Gracilaria from the Pacific in its raw form, which I sell. Did not grow. Now on to our final type of sea moss, Chondrus crispus, aka Irish moss. The only Irish moss. Now before we start, I like to debunk a myth. It's not only found in the Atlantic. Here we have the Pacific Chondrus crispus. So Atlantic meets Pacific. You see they're both translucent in nature when wet. So here we have is the sun-dried Chondrus crispus. And also here it is in its wet form. You see? Translucent, but lighter. Pacific, dry, Pacific wet. Translucent.
You can see it's rich in pigment because they're from their sources. All right, everybody. So there you have it. We covered the three types, Euchema cotini, Gracilaria, and Chondrus crispus. Now I'm going to show it to you one last time, all in their wet forms and also in their purest forms, Euchema cotini. You see the gold one? Just ask them, has it been sun-dried or is it farm-raised of some sort? Gracilaria. Gracilaria in its purest form. Conjus crispus of the Atlantic. And also the one I sell, Conjus crispus of the Pacific. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope I explained everything down to the atom form for y'all. Have a great day.